Hi again, everyone. In one of my favourite books, the sci-fi classic Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams wrote, a towel is about the most massively useful thing an interstellar hitchhiker can have. And it's also an amazing thing for dog owners. So let's take a look at some of the things you can do with a towel. First of all, it can be used to protect your furniture. If you've been watching my videos about this young man, Floppy, you may have me heard me mention towels. I tend to drape them over my furniture or over areas in front of my furniture. So when he pees up it, then the urine is absorbed into the towel instead of into the furniture and it makes it much easier to clean up. The next use is as an emergency stretcher. Greyhounds are pretty big dogs and not that easy to carry if they collapse. So the chances are you don't have a suitable stretcher at home, but a large bath towel can be used as a stretcher in an emergency situation. And sadly, I've had to do this on a couple of occasions in order to get a dog out to the car and to the vet. Carefully lay the towel on the ground next to your dog. Next, gently roll your furry companion onto the towel. Employ some assistance in lifting your pet by grasping the towel in each corner and lifting. Thinking about lifting, my next suggestion for your towel is as a sling. Probably not a bath towel this size, a more regular size, large towel. And if your dog is unsteady on their legs or develops a weakness, then this can be really helpful to give them some extra support, perhaps to get them down the stairs or out into the garden to toilet. If you fold it lengthways, you can pass it under their belly and then take both ends in one hand and gently lift to give support as they walk. Another way that I find a towel comes in handy is to stop a dog licking. If one of them keeps licking at a wound, for example, and I want to keep that wound open to the air to help it heal, but I don't want them to lick, a simple way to deal with that problem is to just drape a towel over that particular part of the body, maybe a hand towel in this situation. And unless they're very determined, that often is enough. Certainly it works for Gandalf, and he is so persistent with licking at even the smallest wounds. We do this quite a lot when he gets nicks and scratches. You can also use a towel to make a very easy, quick cooling mat if you're caught out in hot weather. So you probably want a middle sized towel for this, something big enough for the dog to lie on and just soak it in a load of water in a bucket or a sink and wring out the excess and spread it out on the floor for the dog to lie on. And this can be better than putting a wet towel on the dog because it still allows for heat exchange from the dog's body out into the surrounding air. And my last suggestion for your towel is as a treat dispenser. You can create some simple fun games by hiding treats in the towel. You might just wrinkle it up, you might tie a knot or roll it into a sausage shape. The ideas are as unlimited as your creativity. So I hope that's given you some useful ideas of things you might do with a towel. Let us know in the comments how you get on and I'd love to hear about your own ideas as well. That's all for today. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. What have we learned today about greyhounds and towels? We have learned that not only can a towel be used to sail a mini raft down the slow moving river moth, it can also be used to stop your hound peeing on your favourite furniture and can also be used as a makeshift stretcher and sling and it can also be used as a useful treat dispenser. And finally, you can even dry yourself off with it in the end if it seems clean enough. But judging by what we've been talking about today, I really wouldn't recommend it. Always remember where your town is.